4 Women Who Dumped Brad Pitt 4. Christina Applegate When Brad and Christina were young, they got together. Later on, they started having an affair. In 1988, they were seen in a picture dancing the tango. Everything appeared so innocent and nice. However, she broke up with him just before the 1989 MTV VMAs. For the first time, Applegate told this tale in 2015. She claimed to have left Pitt for another man. What man? That would be Sebastian Bach, the lead singer of Skid Row, though. Outside, at least, that's what he says. Furthermore, she hasn't refuted him. Bach summed it up thus, so there was a time on this earth when Sebastian Bach was, like, a hotter lay than Brad Pitt. But Brad appears to have been dating someone. 3. Sunita In the 1980s, Sunita was more popular than Pitt. She was still sorry to let him go, though. Before splitting up with Pitt for Simon Cowell, Sunita dated him for two years. He was fun, he was young and very sweet. Some Adon fan gave me a slap when I came out of a supermarket over than relationship once. How did young Brad seem in his underwear? Ha! Huh. He was beautiful with the most amazing body. Imagine this now, in 1989, Sunita says goodbye to Pitt. Thelma and Louise is released in theaters hardly two years later. When I saw that movie, even I thought, oh my god, what have I done? Sunita, it's too late. Brad had also gone away by then. 2. Jill Sholin In 1989, Pitt fell in love, for real. He was so smitten with Jill Sholin that he proposed to her. She agreed, and soon the two were engaged. Alas, the engagement lasted all of three months. Jill asked Brad to buy her a plane ticket to Hungary. She needed to be in Budapest for a movie. Brad, who had no money to speak of, bought the ticket at once. Then, she called me up in Los Angeles and was crying on the phone. She was lonely, and there was a huge drama. At this point I had $800 to my name and I spent $600 of it getting a ticket from Los Angeles to Hungary to see her. I got there, went straight to the set where she was filming, and that night we went out to dinner. She told me she had fallen in love with the director of the film. I was so shocked I said, I'm out of here. 1. Juliette Lewis In 1990, Lewis and Pitt got to know one other on the set of Too Young to Die? She was 17 and he was 27 when they started dating. They weren't the same for three years. In the year 1993, Lewis said, We're like at the point in love where we just like to see each other every single day and we don't get bored with each other. They split up three months later. Lewis gave a hazy explanation, saying something like, We were trying to be Sid and Nancy. We were fools. We were simply having a terrific time. It hinted at something more, I don't want to go into an explanation. She has her own views, and I respected those views. It was one of the greatest relationships I've ever been in. The problem is, we grow up with this vision that love conquers all, and that's just not so, is it? To what views then was he alluding? Apparently, Juliet converted to Scientology. After attending a few sessions, Brad came to the conclusion that it wasn't his thing. Lewis rejected her lover in favor of the church. They remained friends, by 2021, Lewis had quit the church.